put in sort of stark data terms, African Americans in particular are underrepresented in the professional ranks of most art museums. The barriers to entry in these jobs are quite high. You're talking about a very, very small pool of people. I think fellowships and internships uh, become a very important thing in regard to beginning to address what I think I would characterize as a pipeline issue. And it's a sort of a weird conundrum because even though you don't have a huge pool of qualified applicants, you also don't have places where people can actually go to get a foot in the door. And this is where I think the Bearden um, has been so valuable because it gives underrepresented candidates the opportunity to get a foot in the door. It goes back to the early 90s. Daniel and Adelaide Schlafly, he was very interested along with his wife with racial equity and desegregation. So being a big supporter of the art museum, he noticed that there were not a lot of African Americans working in this museum or other museums as he traveled across the country. So he came and spoke with the director of education and said, what can we do to improve and increase the number of African Americans working in museums? The Ramir Bearden Graduate Museum Fellowship is a training program for individuals who want to work in museums. It is a cross-departmental training, meaning they work throughout the museum, and it's hands-on experience. They spend a good part of the year working in many different departments. They may work in education, they may work in curatorial. We actually had a fellow who wanted to be a gallery attendant. We've had fellows shadow the director. So the actual projects depends on the interests of the fellow, what our needs are, and then most important are the skills. The skills that the fellow arrives with, but also those skills that they want to learn. The ultimate goal is to empower them so that they can see themselves as a museum leader. My goal is the day that they walk out of the museum that they have something on their resume that they didn't walk in the door with. That's success for me. Some of them have become colleagues. That's what's so interesting about it, is that you know they go from fellows to professionals to colleagues, and it's wonderful to see. You know, we're able to trace some people who have now ascended to really extraordinary positions. It really has made um, a huge difference, not only to the individuals, the fellows, as they move through their professional careers, but it's made a difference to the field. The more recent uh, graduate of the program who got a junior curatorial job right out of the program, and we were thrilled for that for her. And then she came to an opening um, representing her new museum. So I was able to greet her, you know, not as a fellow and not as an employee, but as a colleague. And it was just, it was such a treat. I mean, it just, uh, she was just laughing and I was laughing and it was really wonderful because you know, that's what happens, right? Is they go out and become professionals and they make their own mark in the world. When we think about the museum, we have to remind ourselves that it's a public institution, especially the St. Louis Art Museum, which relies so heavily on public funding. And uh, because of that, it's important that our museums, not just the art inside of them, but the, the administration, uh, curators, right? The people who staff them are reflective of our society. I joined the trustees of the Art Museum here two years ago. I learned about the Bearded Fellowship. I thought, you know what, there's a great opportunity here to build on the initial funding that the Schlafly family contributed and work to create an endowment uh, to ensure that the museum doesn't have to utilize unrestricted funds uh, to ensure that this position moves forward. The board of directors here at the museum made the decision that we would go from one fellow to two and we would go from one year to two years. Museums have to stay relevant. And America is changing. The demographics of America is changing. And we need to include everyone's story.